how to create a color palette using coolers and also how to post on Padlet. So this is on slide 15 and what you need to do is you're going to create a color palette that represents or portrays each of these adjectives. So you want to create a color scheme that you feel represents calm and another one that you think represents silly and playful. So this will be different for everybody depending on what kind of moods or emotions they feel are associated with colors. So there is no right or wrong answer for this. You're then going to export each of the separate color palettes as an image and then we're going to upload to Padlet. So let's click on this link here to coolers.co and it will open to something like this. You don't necessarily need to sign in or sign up, but you can sign up for a Google account if you'd like. We're going to click the blue Start the Generator button. And the way this works is if you press the space bar, it will generate random color palettes. Now, they're not always good color palettes. Sometimes they can be kind of ugly. And you have some different controls with the colors. So you can click through until you find colors that you want. So let's say I like this color here, Pacific Blue. So if I want, I could lock it and then continue to press the spacebar. And you'll notice that Pacific Blue stays there. So let's say I also like this purple, but I want to get a little bit of a lighter color. So you can click on this grid where it says View Shades and you can choose from a variety of shades or tints. Shades are ones that are mixed with black and are darker. Tints are ones that are mixed with white and are a bit lighter. So I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to also lock it. This arrow here allows you to drag the colors around so you can customize how the color palette looks. If you would like to choose a color rather than click through with the space bar until you find something you like, you can click on the color numbers here and then click under hex and choose picker. And this allows you to select whatever color you like. So maybe I want to do something a little bit lighter here. Okay. And then I'm going to lock that one as well, and I'm going to drag it over here because I think it will look nicer next to the Pacific Blue. And then I'm going to continue to hit the space bar. And I like this color, but I'm just going to do it maybe a bit darker. I'm going to drag this over here, and then I'm going to choose my last color. So notice that I'm locking each one once I've found the color I want. I'm going to try to do a lighter color this time. Maybe a lighter green. And then I'm going to change it. Sometimes you'll get advertisements up here that you can just exit out of. So I'm going to do something like this. This isn't the best color palette but okay another thing that you can do is you can also choose from an image so if there was an image you wanted you could also find an image of something calming or peaceful so maybe I want to look up the ocean and I'm gonna look at Google images and I'm gonna choose something that has a bunch of colors so I'm gonna choose this one and I'm going to right click on the image and save image as. My computer is slow right now. I'm going to save it to my downloads as sunset. And then I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to export this one. So you can click the export button and then we're going to choose image and I'm just going to name this as com slash peaceful one export. Now if I want to use one from 
an image, I'm going to click this photo icon and I'm going to upload an image by clicking here and looking for it in my downloads. And then I can click on each color below and drag it around until I find colors that I like. So I'm going to look for something light blue, maybe a little bit darker blue, and maybe something a bit brighter, like a bright red. Okay, then I can click next and I'm going to either, ex you can either export it or I'm going to open it in the generator because I want to drag these around and rearrange it a bit differently. Okay, so now I'm going to export this one as well. This is also calm, peaceful. Okay, so now I need to put these on Padlet. So if we go back to the Google Slides, this link is going to actually just bring you to another slide in the slide deck, which is slide number two, and it has all of the links. So we're looking for Padlet, and then you want to choose which period you are, period one, five, or six. Make sure that you choose the correct one. So I'm gonna choose period one. Now, when you open Padlet, um, I'm automatically signed in, but when you open it, yours is going to, anytime you add a post, it's going to show up as anonymous. Now, you wanna make sure that you log in or make an account really easily. Um, because otherwise it's going to show up as anonymous and I won't know whose it is and I won't be able to grade you. So if I were to log out, I can press sign up or log in and then you're going to choose to sign up with Google and choose your Google account, your school account. Oh, mine didn't work for some reason. And then yours will automatically bring you to your Padlet again. Mine just brings me back to my teacher dashboard. So mine looks a little different from yours. And then to create a post, you can either double click on the screen or you can choose the pink plus button in the right hand corner. So you're gonna add a title here. And so I'm gonna put the title of the color palette I'm doing and then in the slides, you had some questions to answer. So I want you to write in the description, what do you imagine or visualize when you think of that adjective? So basically, why did you choose those colors? So I'm going to go back. Too many tabs open. So I'm going to upload my photo, pick file, calm and peaceful. And I'll write, I chose to use colors that are from an ocean or beach. And then you can just press enter or click outside of it. And then what I would like you guys to do is to either like or comment on other people's posts. Um, whether or not you agree or not, and um, or if you like any of those specific colors. And that's it.